Hey everybody, I am coming to you from beautiful scenic Skyrim from the side of a cliff where I'm not entirely sure I'd be able to get back up but that's okay because I'm hiding from my horse right now and the purpose of this video is to show you how to use holsters correctly for the VRIK player avatar mod by uh, Prague um, which I will um, in the future refer to as Vrick because that's what I think of it as my head in my head uh, so Vrick holsters that's what this video is about and as you can see I have one right here in front of me um, with my katana here I also have my bow over my shoulder there's a mud crab down there Woo! But anyway, so the idea was to show you how to use them. Um, as you can see, it's pretty cool. So, um, let's get down to it. So the way it works is when you have your hand near the holster, you'll feel a haptic vibration. And that's how you know when you have it and then you hit your grab button um, which you know is the one on the bottom side here uh, now there is an option to set it to trigger but I prefer keeping it on the grab personally so that's just me um, let's see here so uh, the first thing I want to talk about uh, it is how to set it up and we'll go through some of the options in brick so let me get in there and then we can look. Okay, so this is the brick menu. Um, there isn't much I think that we need in here. The only thing that I personally messed with besides the height was the uh, head forward distance. I used to find that when I looked down I had to kind of like look down like below me like you're looking off of off a precipice uh, to see my body. So I did the head forward distance and moved it back really far. Uh, and that, I think that helps a lot. So I would check that out. Uh, I'm, I like to wear, I like to wear a Thalmor. Um, there we go. A Thalmor outfit. And uh, you can kind of see the back of my head through the, uh, through the hood I, uh, I have a growth on my arm I'll talk about that later but you can see my sword on my hip there looking all cool with the black and gold and my bow but um, the, the this part this is supposed to be a dagger but I didn't happen to have a dagger on me so I just took the only other sword that I had because it was a quest item and they wouldn't let me dump it um, and put that on my wrist so I can demonstrate later about it, how you position the weapon properly. But anyway, so just wanted to show you the thing about the head. You're never going to see the back of your head, so who cares if it pokes out a little bit. Oh, one more thing I wanted to mention about the main brick options was the, the reason I was showing you the Thalmor outfit was because when I had the head forward distance too far back, um, it was causing the hood to clip into my vision. I kind of at the sides like that. I don't know if you can see that, but just down at the bottom, you'd see like little things down here. But so the next option, uh, weapon holsters, you want those enabled. You want haptic feedback on. To set it up, you want to turn the haptic feedback strength all the way up to 45. Um, use triggers instead of grips. You can do that, but I prefer the grips. Uh, pull weapons to draw. I turned that off because it's cool at first, but the first time you don't hold the button down long enough and you come up empty handed, um, that was enough for me to disable it. So, And max holster activation distance, this default is 10, uh, but you're probably going to need to turn it up when you first go to set it up. That's one of the main tricky things. Uh, you would just go and crank it all the way up to 25 and that would be fine. And then as you... Um, get everything where you want it then you can start lowering it down to, to uh, where just as long as you need it to be able to reach the weapon body holsters um, I don't use the hips 
Uh, if you play standing up, you probably won't either, because from what I've heard, if you ha have your hands at your hips, they're always vibrating. So I would leave those, all the weapon styles unchecked. Um, left shoulder, visible. Um, I have mine set to only allow ranged, and then that way I can only put my bow there. There's no chance of me accidentally putting another weapon up there. Um, right shoulder, I have two-handed. I have a, a Tachi that I use, um, usually only on horseback, but I thought it would cool, be cool to be able to put it back there. Um, and then the trick to getting the samurai thing to work, uh, the way I have it set up, is the stomach holster. And I set it to right hand only. Um, and I'll show you more about how to set that up later. But I do have it set to allow sword only. And then that way, again, you can't put anything else there by accident. So now let's move on um, to the controls. So... Oh! Do we even need any of these? Ah, uh, selfie mode. So selfie mode is how I was showing my character. So you um, check that, and then what you do is when you ex you put your right arm in the air and you twist it. Well, would you look at that? <laughs> oh my god, that is so funny. I apparently forgot to set up my height in Steam. Oh, that's something else I wanted to mention. I have a tendency in battles to kind of see. I just all of a sudden got taller, or you see what I mean. But I have a tendency to kind of panic clutch the thumbstick uh, in battle, which uh, some of my other videos that actually happens in the middle of a fight and I have to get out of the menu and keep fighting. So I recently found a uh, new mapping for the stick that was um, in Russian. But instead of the ones where you hold down the stick, which I find also interfere with my menu buttons, this one you just double click the left stick. And I haven't been able to do that by accident yet. So that's a good thing. So here's my uh, my uh, brick guy. So you raise your right arm and then you turn it, then you can put it down, then you can raise your right arm and then put it back down again and then you can move around your guy. But while your arm is up in the air, you can turn him and look and make sure everything is aligned correctly. So, that back off. Go back in the menu. Did want to go back up to weapon holsters and then also look again at the activation distance. Um, I did mention that you turn that all the way up and that you're going to be lowering it later. So let me show you about why that is and why I am hiding on the side of a cliff. So, oh, if you ever noticing anything funny with your perspective in VR, either you know like this or when you're on the horse my t my uh my experience is that if you lean forward in your seat because i'm sitting uh, so if you lean forward in your seat usually everything goes um, back to normal so i wanted to show if i hit my grip button that calls my horse so when i get close to the handle that's a horse call that's a horse call. But that gets me my sword. So I basically put it pretty close to where I would normally actually, where my hand is when I have it in the game. And then that way I'm not accidentally grabbing it when I'm sitting like this, like if I want to call my horse. See, in real life I'm sitting with my hands on my thighs, leaning back on my couch. So, so, but when you're first getting them into place, you're going to want to, like I said, mention, oh, like I mentioned, you're going to turn it up as high as possible, and then as you get where you're comfortable, where you, where you got, where you have the uh, weapons position where you want them, then you'll start lowering it down until it's too low, and then you start missing grabs on the sword, and then you bump it back up again. So I just do it and play with it for a little while until I get it the way I, the way I want it. Um, so, this, um, I was going to show you guys how to set it up in the samurai style like I have here, so the way I did it, because I actually had originally given up on ever getting it, ever getting it to work, 
um, I had the stomach enabled, and then when I was feeling around, the sword ended up like right here in front of me, like pointed down that way. So once you get it there, then you can kind of move it up. So I'll show you how to move the weapon um, in the in the holster, but not on that because that's exactly where I want it, and I'm not messing with it. So. So what you do is get yourself in range to so you get the haptics and oh that's another thing make sure that when you're doing this that you have fresh batteries so that you have the you know the best haptic uh, vibration possible so you put your hand until you start to feel the haptics and then you hold your grip button for three seconds and after you hold it long enough you can start moving the the weapon around so sometimes it's a little tricky finding it if you haven't positioned it and I don't usually use the wrist daggers. So now I'm going to turn my activation distance up. And then... I can feel it right there. So I'm going to hold. And then you can see... Whoops, I lost it. <laughs> okay, so we had a little technical hiccup and lost our giant dagger on the right arm. So we're going to do reset position, and then we're going to back out, and then there it is, and then we're going to feel for the haptics, there it is. Now, because I have it set so wide, I have to kind of hold my arm up, because if I get too close to this sword, uh, it'll pick it up. Not because I have the haptic set high, but because I have the activation distance set high. So, but you can get the idea. How to move around. And you can twist it. So the basic idea to get it set up like a samurai sword like this is when you first get it attached to your stomach, it's going to be kind of pointed downward like that. So what you have to do is you grab it and you start to move it and you're going to kind of slide it up this way. Well, it's actually going to be pointed that way. So you're going to kind of slide it up and around here and then you can check in selfie mode and make sure that the scabbard isn't clipping through you if you're... OCD like me and then um, because it's really supposed to be per, uh, the blade the edge is supposed to be upward then if you want to you can hold down the uh, grip button and then kind of rotate it and then let go and then get another grip on it and then rotate it again until you know it's where you want it and then at that point then you're all set but it's just kind of you know tricky if you haven't done it before so, oh, the other thing I wanted to mention was uh, a, a sword on your back. So, let me see here. Okay. So this is a Tachi. It's actually a decent bit longer than the Katana. I use it on horseback. Um, actually, that's one of the unfortunate things about the... Uh, the brick holsters is that they don't work on horseback which is definitely kind of a bummer but it really looks cool when you're riding your horse and you can see your the handle of your sword bopping up and down or if somebody could come up with a mod where you could put holsters on horses that would be awesome too but uh so with the putting a sword on your back it's kind of tricky but a lot of the time you have to kind of reach whoops selfie mode sometimes you have to reach really high like, I don't know if it depends on whether you're standing up or not, but you'll be reaching around, feeling around quite a bit up here um, to get that uh, haptic vibration to pick up. And then, of course, once you do and you get the sword in there, then you can find it again and then uh, adjust it around the way you want to move it downward. But really, that's, that's I think that's pretty much it. I think that pretty much covers everything. Once you have everything dialed in, you should be able to easily switch back and forth between your various weapons.
You should never hit the shout button by accident anymore. <laughs> Mud crabs, here I come! Justin in Skyrim is a all up a clip. You know how it is. Sometimes you gotta test stuff. And sometimes you fall off cliffs. And that's just how we roll. You know? Oh shit. Apparently that's just how it is. Okay, <laughs> I'm sliding. <laughs>